Okay, I'll pass this over. Oh? Yes, sir. What are you doing in Mexico? Painting a mural. Painting a mural? Yes, sir. Where's the mural is? Uh, for Amor Pro Juarez. It's a young lady, young girl. Want to see a picture of it? Sure. for peace passing through who was actually here at Utah I took photos of the members of the caravan you know people that had lost loved ones to, to violence and, and injustice and stuff and so I, um, I really wanted to paint these people It's a new year in our gorgeous border town, and uh, with it comes a brand new piece of art for downtown El Paso and also for Ciudad Juarez. And uh, today my guests are uh, El Mac, graffiti artist El Mac, and uh, graffiti artist from here, from El Paso, Mr. Dave Grave Herrera, otherwise known as Grave. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, also, we are joined by Ricardo Fernandez, who uh, is here on behalf of Amor Po Juarez, who made the mural project possible on our sister city side. So um, we have the fortune of talking to you all as you're working on the mural. And uh, when the show actually airs, it'll be up and gracing our, our downtown. Um, can you give us some background about, let's talk about the medium first uh, and what it is, you know, your, your, your graffiti art, mm -hmm. spray can art. Um, kind of give us a little lowdown on that and how you started. And I know uh, Mac and Grave, you guys have been friends for a while. Yes. Uh, yes. So just kind of yeah. take us through your journey, and then we can get to how we got to these yeah. gorgeous binational yeah. murals. You know, I kind of have a history of painting, you know, regular people, humble people, um, you know, campesinos, you know, just regular regular folks, you know, workers. And um, and so that's that's something that's always... Just growing up in the Southwest, you know, I grew up mostly in Phoenix, um, spent some time in, in Las Cruces. Um, that's something that, you know, I always felt was kind of, um, it, it, it was something that I was seeing in my life that I wasn't seeing represented in, in art very much, you know, and I felt like it was it was something worthwhile to portray and, 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 and I guess in recent years, I, I felt like even more of a sense of, um, I don't know, urgency or, or, or motivation to sort of represent, maybe pay homage in a way to, you know, these, these just regular people of the Southwest, you know, and then the border region. And, and, and I guess because of a lot of the, the border issues and conflicts and, and injustice and, and, you know, killings and all the stuff that's been going on over the last, I don't know, since like 2006 or so, roughly, you know, mm -hmm. things have, you know, there, there's been a lot of um, changes for the worse, you know. Maybe in recent years, it, 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 it's gotten a little bit better um, here in Juarez. You know, it, it, like at some point a few years back, you know, I was looking at statistics and, and I'm not good with numbers, but I just remember seeing something about you know, the, the number of border deaths, you know, like, like uh, migrants that, are, that were dying just from crossing through the, through the deserts was, was higher than the, the death toll in, in Iraq yearly, and, and at least on the U.S. side. And it was just, you know, it seemed like this was kind of a, a major crisis. And so more and more I felt like as a, as a resident of the Southwest, as someone who, who grew up in the Southwest, it seemed like almost a... I had a, I felt a sense of responsibility to pay homage to these people. Mm 